Okay, viewers, thank you for coming in. This is part of the Minister for Men's Behaviour Change series. Let's see what we've got going on. If you haven't subscribed to Pro Theologist Probrick Exclusive, please do so. And this video comes to us from the Law and Crime Network. I do encourage you to subscribe. There's the title of this video if you want to find it and um, use it or look at it. And let's see what's going on. Next, we're staying in Oklahoma. This time we're in Tecumseh, about an hour south of where we just were. It's September 7th, 2023, right during school hours. School administrators call elementary school teacher Jennifer Davis into an office after they received multiple reports Davis might have been drinking on school grounds. Two officers then sit down to talk with her. And they said they had reports where I was drinking at school. Okay. Which has never happened. Okay. When was the last time you've had anything to drink? Uh, last night. Okay. About what time did you quit drinking? Uh, probably about 10.30. 10.30? How much did you drink? Just a glass of wine. Nothing major. Investigators say a principal smelled alcohol on Davis's breath. Davis then agrees to take a breath test. I don't even know what that... 0 0.06. Is that... You are just under the legal limit. So if you were to be out driving right now, you would be charged with DWI, driving while intoxicated. Under the legal limit? Just under it. The legal limit is 0 .08, which is DUI. But from a 0 .06 to 107, you could be charged with DWI. I haven't had anything to drink today. Davis finally starts to realize she won't just be going home for the day. Okay. Can I have somebody pick me up? Well, I've got, a, I've got a legal obligation, okay? You're here. Entrusted for the care and safety and the teaching of for the teaching I understand, of these kids. Okay? I... No, today you're going to be arrested for public intoxication. Now you've got to look at this, viewers. There's a lot of addicts, functioning addicts, and alcoholics and medication takers that are under the radar in their employment. This is a case where somebody's been caught. I got a mate that lost his job or an old school per acquaintance that lost his job as a tri train driver he got caught once on the dope they warned him they gave him a chance he got caught the second time he lost his career as a train driver right um, my second wife had um, a woman that she was working alongside of in ndis who was intoxicated at work and all this sort of stuff drove people around the bench ended up getting the sack eventually <laughs> but these people are right throughout our communities and these are the people that are causing a lot of the trouble and when they get caught the tune changes I, I will have my sister come get me i don't write the law and i and i will resign well, that, that's, gonna be, that, that's something you're going to discuss with the, the administration here. Administrators do end up accepting Davis's resignation before she's put into cuffs. Most of the questions Davis has for the police officers are about who reported her. It just makes me mad for somebody to say that I've had stuff here. I've never. Yeah. And like ever. And I know it's a small town. Yeah. Like Major Mallinson was saying that we have we're not we're not privy to that information. We just get a call and come do it. You know what I mean? Just for somebody to be like so vicious to say like. I People get, get fed up I with it. Mad that somebody here said something. All right. I think there's I have a pretty good idea. Guys, I think there's people throughout our hospital system, government systems, um, NDIS, and all these welfare and aged care systems that are on chemicals and substances and alcohol and uh, dope and all the rest of it. And they've got all the excuses in the world as to why, but it's not good enough. There's a duty of care these people need to have, not just for themselves, but the people that are entrusting them to look after them. And they're just not. They're called functioning addicts, functioning alcoholics. But it just hurts my feelings because, my God, we've only been back a few weeks. Right. I wish there was something there so everybody here didn't have to see me in here with you guys. I understand that it can be embarrassing. It is. Yeah. I would just like to know who reported. Like, and I did not drink today. Well, That's I'm going to tell you I mean. from a legal standpoint, when people call in and report a crime, of any crime, we're not in the business of telling people who made the report. I, I There's reasons behind that. Okay? I understand that. Davis was charged with public intoxication, 
She was taken to jail and later released. Okay, guys, so sometimes these people just have to bear the consequences of their actions. We're going straight to another one. Let's go to Atlantic City, New Jersey. This is Tara Fritz. Police say on June 27th, 2023, around 10 p.m., she made an improper left-hand turn. She had a green light but didn't yield to oncoming traffic, so another car hit hers. Fritz's daughter was also in the back seat. Fritz refused to go to the hospital, but an officer smelled alcohol on her breath. <laughs> Okay, she's lying. She's just almost killed herself, her daughter, and some other family or person, other driver. So listen, I can smell alcohol on you. So you had had things, had something to drink tonight. What? How much have you had to drink? Um, a margarita. A single drink. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're going to do a, uh, a couple of psychophysical tests just to prove that you can walk yeah. and that you were able to drive. Yeah. All right. I should have told you that. I'm sorry. I'm scared right now. This is, like, scary. I'm sorry. This isn't uncommon, guys. I'm scared right now. These people are right throughout our societies and communities. There's more of them, and it's getting worse. The officer has Fritz do a few of the sobriety tests. But she failed. Count out loud. Count out loud. Five. 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 Stop. That's pretty hard. That's pretty hard. Officers took her back to the station where she gave a breath sample. Her BAC was reportedly 0.18. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so again, like I said. She's Everything with police now is pretty much done. Robert's coming, he's on his way, he's gonna come sign the waiver and then you can go home. I'm so sorry, no, I'm so sorry. I can't believe this happened. During a conversation with officers, we learned Fritz is a teacher who works with children with disabilities at her home in California. I'm a yep. teacher, like, I know, I know what it's like to deal with. <laughs> and believe you me, a lot of these alcoholic users, drug users, substance abuse users, medication abusers, they're caring for other people, and the fact of the truth of the matter is, guys, they can't even care for themselves. I'm sorry. <laughs> Too late. So listen, sorry I'm now, sorry. she's caused an accident. <laughs> You're going to talk to the prosecutor, all right? <laughs> Wait, I have to all right, I'll tell you. I'll, listen, you're going to get a court an uh, hearing, <laughs> all right? And they're going to do... They do it on Zoom now. And what I, I would, and back out, so I can go back to California and do it. I mean, you wouldn't have to. I mean, really. A lot of times, <laughs> listen. A lot of times, what they're doing now, what they're doing now is everything is via Zoom. And I you. teach kids with disability. Like, I'm not trying to justify anything, but I'm saying this is a, a really like. What am I? And, and you say she's a really nice lady, but <laughs> I can't tell her what. Okay, so this is what's happening, just of late. <clears throat> A lot of these carers and providers for care and these types, they think the community owes them something in return. They think they they pedestalize themselves and they've got it all mixed up. They're being paid to provide a service and that's it. Okay, no different to somebody that works at Bunnings or somebody that's... Um, gardener or lawnmower or tradie they're no different but they pedestalize themselves because they think they've got some kind of um how could i put it grandiose position as a carer as opposed to somebody that doesn't but no they've chosen that career and they get paid for it and that's it but they self-grandize who they are by their position. To do. Fritz keeps coming back to the fact that she was arrested in New Jersey, but lives on the opposite coast. So, so am I not making sense? By Tuesday, I'm, you're, you're saying it's via Zoom, but so what is a jersey? What am I going to have to do in California? For this when you're when you Jersey hearing like what am I gonna have to do so Fritz then gets angry when she feels the officers are judging her for drinking and driving here I am and there's before like, uh, so before I, the, there's people in the street doing and then you're like blaming me like I'm this horrible person aren't I ma'am do you ma'am 
The fact of the matter is she may not be a horrible person, but the truth is that she's been drink driving, she's caused an accident, she could have mortally wounded or killed somebody else, and she thinks she's going to get away, but no, she's no different to any other criminal that does this type of behaviour. At the end of the day, what you did was you conducted a left-hand turn, you were the turning vehicle, you had a green light, the other guy had a green light, you conducted a left-hand turn to try and get onto 30, right? The turning vehicle is responsible for that turn. They own where that. He, where is me. he? No, where He's is he? fine, because at the end of the day, the turning vehicle, when you turn, you're owning that turn. You're responsible for that turn. It's the same way in California. I'm sure you know that. You're responsible for that turn. What happened is a motor vehicle collision happened, okay? And at that point, I showed up, got EMS saying you're drunk. I can see that you're drunk. You have your daughter in the back seat. Do you think that I am, what do you think I'm supposed to do at that point? I'm not, I'm not saying, what, what am I supposed to do? Do you know it's what that's like? It's not going to be. For me to go home, is it, what, what am I gonna do now that you can charge me a drunk? Do you know what that's like? Do you know, do you know what that does to me? Do you know what that well, like? you know what, viewers, she didn't th consider the consequences of her actions. And that's the problem with these people. They live in a world of no self-awareness. They think nobody else can see them because they're self-unaware. They think they're under some kind of invisible umbrella. And when they get revealed for their addictions and their behaviors and their habits and they get caught and now they've got to suffer the consequences to the law. And that's what people are there for, to try the laws there to try and save people's lives from these people. They're just not gonna they just still don't get it, even in their remorse. And from a biblical perspective, many people wonder why the disciple Judas hung himself. Because it says that he showed extraordinary remorse. But he couldn't come to his senses. He couldn't see the mix of his sin and the mix of his regret bent him to such a point of conviction that he committed suicide. And a lot of people carry on in this behavior i'm not saying this is the case here and get in trouble over and over and over again to a point where they do finally kill someone or maim someone or they passed it on to their children and their children you know end up with a disease or something wrong with them as a result of the the drugs or the alcohol and they commit suicide their conscience can't take any more of the way in which they are. They feel sorry for themselves. Um, suicide begins to give them a sense of um, freedom, a sense of relief, and they go through with it. But this person here, she's in defense mode, the body language. Defense mode, body language, um, The face is sort of a face of, you know, confusion, I suppose. And how have I done this to myself? It's just a, it's just typical, useless um, way in which she's not only self-harmed, but out of that self-harm, she's caused an accident and could have harmed somebody else. I'm gonna tell you this much right now. No, we still, have, we still have police officers on this department that have gotten DUIs, that have fought it, and, now, and they're still cops. I'm telling you that... Well, they're cops. No, no, they went, they went to court <laughs> They're and cops. I mean... No, stop. firefighters, I've seen it too. I've seen it with a few things, all right? This is not the end of the world. Your daughter was in the back of the car. You're such a piece of Just say it. I don't think that. <laughs> what I'm saying is... Now she's trying to make the policeman feel convicted when she's the convicted one. It was an irresponsible thing that occurred courses for that there are consequences okay they're not severe consequences but they are, they are they, i wouldn't say they're, they're, they're definitely stern and there's a process for that <laughs> i'm gonna lose my license no there's no there's i wish i was not doing that and i wish i did not get in an accident where some guy just like like you can say oh you're in the wrong way where is he right now she the caused the accident right because he's so hurt i bet right, he went i bet he's so hurt right now it's fine it was pretty banged up yeah 
think he does for a living? Does he teach kids with disabilities? <laughs> back to my See, I just want to go back to that. I'm just saying. I just want to be able to. What do you think he does for a living? Does he teach kids with disabilities? And I'm sure me? he's an outstanding citizen. I Listen can't wait to, to hear what guy. he does. What do you think he does for a living? Uh, does he teach kids with disabilities? No. See, they're self grandized I'm telling you, they think the community owes them something because they're dealing with the unfortunate side of the community. And I've seen it time and time again, and they bring themselves undone. They feel sorry for themselves. The officer wrapped up his time with Fritz with some pretty solid advice. Don't do it again. But guess what? Do you think she'll do it again? You know as well as I do. She'll do it again. Bye for now.